Hello friends and welcome to the learning platform Aviation Life. Before the start of today's video, remember, learning never exhausts the mind. Today we will learn about different types of altitudes used in aviation. There are different concepts of altitude in aviation depending upon their characteristics and practical applications. It includes pressure altitude, density altitude, indicated altitude, calibrated altitude and true altitude. The term pressure altitude and density altitude are used for understanding the aircraft performance. Let's start with pressure altitude also abbreviated as PA. It is the altitude in relation to standard datum plane or we can also say that it is the altitude indicated when altimeter is adjusted to Q and E. In this picture Coleman window is adjusted to standard setting that is 29.92 inches of mercury and the indicated pressure reading on altimeter is your pressure altitude. Here the important point to remember is pressure altitude and flight level are always equal. In a standard condition where outside atmospheric pressure is equal to standard setting that is QNH and QNE are equal then your pressure altitude will be equal to actual altitude. Let's suppose outside atmospheric pressure is higher than the standard setting that is QNH is higher than QNE. It means the isobar of 29.92 inches of mercury will be higher than sea level then your pressure altitude will be less as compared to actual altitude. In case the outside atmospheric pressure is less than the standard setting, that is QNH is lower than QNE, it means the isobar of 29.92 inches of mercury will be lower than sea level. Then your pressure altitude will be higher than the actual altitude. How to calculate your pressure altitude? simple formula for calculation is shown if you know the QNH value of the aerodrome. For example, if you are flying at an altitude of 11,000 feet and the QNH value is 30.02 inches of mercury, then to calculate your pressure altitude, either feed the QNE settings in altimeter or apply this formula. The pressure altitude would be 10900 feet. Let's continue with the concept of density altitude. It is abbreviated as DA. It is pressure altitude corrected for temperature. Or in other words, it is the altitude relative to standard atmospheric conditions at which the air density would be equal to the indicated air density at the place of observation. As we go high in the atmosphere, number of air molecules reduced and density decreases. And it is important to note that air density is the determining factor for aircraft performance as the thrust produced by aircraft engine is directly proportional to air density so it is important to understand the concept of density altitude. Under the ISA conditions at mean sea level pressure is taken as 29.92 inches of mercury and temperature of 15 degrees celsius. With every increase in altitude of 1000 feet, pressure decreases by 1 inches of mercury and temperature decreases by 2 degrees Celsius. If an airport is located at 2000 feet above mean sea level, then under ISA conditions, the atmospheric pressure would be 27.92 inches of mercury and temperature of 11 degrees Celsius. Under the standard conditions, density altitude and pressure altitude are same as the actual altitude. Now if the outside temperature increases, pressure will further reduce and density will decrease and density altitude increases. It will affect the aircraft performance as if the aircraft is flying above 2000 feet. The opposite will happen if the outside temperature is lower than the standard temperature. The density altitude will decrease and aircraft performance will increase. For understanding purpose, remember, once the density is higher, the density altitude is lower. And if the density altitude is higher, then the air density would be lower. Simple formula for calculation of density altitude is depicted if you know the pressure altitude and outside air temperature. 
Let's discuss an example. Find the density altitude if the pressure altitude is 5000 feet and outside temperature is minus 10 degree Charlie. Here in the formula, dA indicates density altitude, pA indicates pressure altitude, OAT is the outside air temperature, whereas ISA is the standard temperature at that altitude. But the question is how to find standard temperature at specific altitude. In order to calculate this, formula is shown on the screen. Now let's do the calculation. First we will calculate the standard temperature at 5000 feet which comes out to be 5 degrees Celsius. Now we will calculate the density altitude which comes out to be 3200 feet. Now let's move to the next type of altitude which is indicated altitude. It is the altitude indicated by altimeter when it is adjusted for current Q and H. In a standard condition, actual altitude is equal to indicated altitude. But every day the conditions are not the same. Now if the outside pressure is higher than the standard settings, the isobar will move upward and the pressure at sea level will be higher than 29.92. If the altimeter is still adjusted to 29.92 then our indicated altitude will be lower than actual altitude. Opposite is the case in case of low pressure settings outside. The next type of altitude is true altitude. It is the actual altitude in relation to mean sea level or it is the indicated altitude corrected for temperature error. This is the depiction of spacing of isobar under standard temperature conditions. If the temperature falls, pressure change occur rapidly with altitude, therefore the isobars are less spaced. On the other hand, if the temperature increases above the standard value, the isobars expand. Here we can see that the pressure is same at sea level in all three cases but only the pressure distribution changes with change in altitude. In a standard condition, true altitude is equal to indicated altitude and temperature correction is not required. But in case of high temperature in atmosphere, isobars expand and true altitude will be more than indicated altitude. Opposite is the case of low temperature. Altimeter will be indicating high altitude and in actual the aircraft will be at lower altitude. If an aircraft is moving from high temperature area where isobars are more apart to a low temperature area where isobars are closer, the true altitude of aircraft will keep on decreasing which can be too dangerous. I hope this video was of great help in understanding the different types of altitudes. If you like our efforts, don't forget to subscribe and share. Thank you.